We're here because we think you need to know what the best oh. candy bar is on the planet. Absolutely. And all along the way, we're gonna be giving you nuggets of wisdom about what you put into your heart and mind, which is actually more important than anything you're gonna see here. But we're gonna rank our favorite candy bar because I think you're probably wanting to know Absolutely. what's the best, know. what's the best. They wanna know. And I think there's a lot of confusing information, Absolutely. a lot of confusing data out there about the best candy bars. So we're gonna give you a definitive ranking of the top five candy bars that exist on planet Earth. If you literally Google what is the best candy bar, you're gonna get lots of opinions, but these oh, aren't so opinions many. today, these are facts. We want Informed tell you, we by taste buds, you. actual taste buds. You know, there are some gross candy bars out there, oh, which so we are gross. not gonna try today, one mm -hmm. of them being the barbecue payday. The barbecue payday. I don't know who came up with that. No, somebody was but barbecuing, I don't think they work and then they put their headquarters payday anymore. on the barbecue and they said, that'll sell. And they it were did. wrong. Not then the wasabi happen. Kit Kat. Ooh. Ooh Kit now, Kat I've heard people kick. say that this tastes good, but I don't believe it. Do you not like wasabi? No. But do you not like Kit Kats? I love Kit Kats. So, so if you pair something you don't like with something you do like, that doesn't mean you're gonna like it. And the Cricket Flour Bar. Oh, the Cricket. Now, Cricket the, Flour is a fad. I think some people say there's a lot of protein in it, but I don't like crickets, so I don't think I would like food made out of crickets. So we're going to uh, go through these these bars, we're gonna yeah. taste them. In the interest of full disclosure, I do not like candy bars. Which actually makes him a very unbiased judge very for this unbiased. competition. I don't so. know the last time I ate a candy bar. Honestly, it probably was around 15 years ago. <laughs> He'll remember after today, though. 15 years uh, ago, well, I would have been. 15 years younger. 19. Where would you start? I mean, you're you know, a candy bar expert. I do like some of these um, or versions of them. Um, I mean, I'm a dark chocolate person, so I like dark chocolate Reese's cups, but I also like regular Reese's cups. So here we go. We're gonna eat the Reese's. I'm dedicating this. I can't eat myself. It. It's so gross. I don't oh. like peanut butter. I you don't, don't like, like peanut butter. Chocolate. I don't like nuts. I like peanut butter on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But any cookie or donut or peanut butter soup. These are good. I forgot how good these are. Even in, you know, whatever time of day you're watching this, you will enjoy so this. So does that cup. temporarily take the category of number one? Yes. This is the de facto number one right now. All right. Twix. And there's, there's left and right Twix. I don't know if this is to bring people together. I'm on the left, so I'm eating the left Twix. <laughs> I'm on the right. I love the crunchiness of Twix. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> you can do that. I don't want to. It's not good, so. <laughs> it's crunchy, I'm not eating but it's just not, either. I've just never gotten into it. This is the one you like. Take I think that. I can eat this. Mmm. I don't like milk chocolate, but the wafer inside. Yeah, I like the wafer. Are you gonna throw up? No. <laughs> it just tastes like, you know when your kids, <clears throat> and they like the strawberry, the chocolate, and the vanilla wafers? Cameron, are you laughing so hard that Cameron's gonna have to leave the room right now? Cause he's laughing. But the wafer, you know when your kids and they have the strawberry and the chocolate and all the wafers? It tastes like that wrapped in milk chocolate. This is going into the number two slot. Crunch bar. Mmm. They was actually really enjoying Rice this. Krispies like, this is my favorite um, are inside a crunch bar. So you didn't know what that was, that crunchiness. But what I like is that creates little air pockets inside the candy bar. And it's just like an explosion of flavor. Mm. Do you like it? I don't like this as much as a Kit Kat. I'm putting it in the number four slot temporarily. I'll go with that. It would be it's my like number a, one. It's like a breakfast candy bar. It's better than that. Cereal and chocolate. No, it's but, not. Uh, oh, I defer to you. You obviously like candy bars better. Three Musketeers. That is one I'm just gonna pass on. I heard a lot of people before we did this were like, ooh, Three Musketeers, I never eat those. <laughs> so I'm not eating this. No. Okay. Woo! Milky Way. <laughs> Woo! Now, the Milky Way and the Three Musketeers are related. Let's say the Milky Way got better branding. Here Three go. Musketeers is like, that's like, you think of three people with swords. Milky Way, you think of the whole galaxy. I can't do it. I, I know it's like, I know I should be so doing you're just So you're just basically judging this based on the name and the way that the wrapping looks? And you know what? That's a very fair way to judge. I'm starting to not accurate. feel good. No. All right, Snickers. Snickers. This is the most, said that it seems like this is the most well-known, most popular candy bar, and I don't know why. I've never really liked Snickers, but I'm gonna give it a fair shake. <laughs> this is the candy bar that ruined candy bars for me. <laughs> so we were driving, I was young, we're all sitting in the back seat of this hot car. Ooh, back candy roads, bars in a hot car. Like Missouri mm. back roads, hot car. And then I was like, mm, I'm hungry. 
I'm gonna eat But I'm Snickers. also kind of motion sick. Well, and here's the thing. You were taking their advertising seriously because they are always talking about like, if you're hungry, grab a right. Snickers. So I got a Snickers <laughs> out of this gas station in a back road and I took a bite and then the motion sickness set in. And then what happened? I don't think I threw up, but I probably got really close. And I said, that's the last you candy bar. You didn't throw up I and you still eat. hate Snickers to this day. I do not like Snickers. Nope. I appreciate that you never do anything halfway. Uh-uh. You would never do what I'm doing mm. and not eat things for a candy bar test and not actually eat the candy bar. You're, you're just, I hold you high. And I think you're Thank amazing. You. This last one, and we're gonna rank these shortly, and I appreciate you saying that. Uh, I said a lot of heartfelt things, and then you just kind of moved on like it didn't matter. Really, the only <laughs> thing you should do with this is make s'mores. This it's, is chocolate. It's, it's milk just chocolate. chocolate. I think we should um, say something in the chat. Dark chocolate versus milk chocolate. Oh, I think dark you will chocolate find all the way. Many people all the way. will say dark chocolate is the way to go. I because don't know. Because it's so good and they're right. You know why there's more milk chocolate in the world than dark chocolate? It's because when they add the milk, they can make more. Yeah, it's and cheaper. cheaper. Thank you, Hershey's. Milk, chocolate. They they put two ingredients in one ingredient name. Yeah, that's cheating. And then by they the way. break it up. Sugar, milk, chocolate. So we're gonna rank these shortly. You're gonna be very surprised what comes out on top. Or maybe you won't I'll be. Eat a little but piece of this. <laughs> a very little piece. So uh so but before we do that, you know, I thought and we thought this would be a very a uh, great way to help people an and talk to time. people about what you put in you, but not necessarily whether you're eating candy bars or because not. Because you should not be putting a lot of this in you. No, let's just but, be honest. but let's be honest. There are things that are more important to think about. What you like mentally putting in, what you're spiritually putting in to your heart, to your soul, to your mind, what you're thinking about. Because what you continually put in is what is going to come out. And so- As you learned on that trip. Yes, <laughs> yes. I think, for example, uh, as you're going through life, you may think, man, it doesn't matter, you know, I'm just kind of, I just sometimes I just need like to be entertained or sometimes I need yeah. to just unwind. It's funny how we put that, like, I need to be entertained. Like, right. I need that right now. Hey, but it, I mean, there are times when you need to unwind. You need to unwind. Yeah, right. absolutely. But just be careful in those moments what you're putting in because really you're letting down your guard and if you're not filtering and saying, you know what, I want to put things in that benefit and edify my life and don't take me down yeah. past, that wouldn't be uh, in line with scripture for me to so, go. That can be damaging to you. Well, and I think the more you put something in, the more you generate a craving for that thing. <laughs> if, you, if you don't have an appetite for good things, then what you've got to start doing is get intentional about saying, I'm going to, like, I'm going to feed on what I know is good for me, even though I feel like binge watching Netflix right now, but instead I'm going to say, I'm going to get intentional and go, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to do something that I really don't feel like doing because I know it's good for me. And I think the reality is we've talked about this before, but most good things in life are an acquired taste. You train yourself to like them. Like my kids love sugar. Mm -hmm. Like they would, they would probably love all of this. But you, like as a parent, you know what's good for your kids and so you teach them to appreciate and like what is gonna actually be good for their body. And I think for a lot of us, we don't recognize how much we need, like how much we need God's word or how much we need whatever it is that is gonna feed our soul. Like we don't realize how much we need that, but other people around us can tell we're deficient in it. Like they can tell, like maybe your spouse can tell or your boyfriend, your girlfriend or your, the your best are, friend. Your best friend. Yeah. Like they're going, oh, Oh, you don't seem good and you may not notice but they notice a lot of times it goes back to what we've been feeding our soul with sure I think like deficiency is is so true you can be deficient but you can also be you know putting the right things in but at the same time eating a lot of the wrong things and that can still make you unhealthy and yeah I think that's where it's like man you might be reading your Bible but you also might be filling yourself with things that are like yeah just full of things that aren't gonna help you it's full of like you know, sexual content or full of profanity or yeah. full of those. And you're like, man, I, that's not me. And I don't, I don't, I'm not. Or I that doesn't that. bother me. That doesn't bother yeah. me. I, I have a high tolerance for that. That's not a good you thing. You don't want to have a high thing. tolerance yeah. for that. I just want to encourage you, like, get rid of those things. You know, yeah. Paul talks about fleeing from those things. Yeah. You know, he put on your new self and get yeah. flee from those things that cause or would be contrary to what would be living a godly life. And you'll find you'll be stronger yeah. in the Lord. The enemy will have less opportunities so in your life because of so what true. you put in. And I really want to encourage you on that because, you know, oftentimes, like just like what you said, uh, people would say like, oh, I can handle that, yeah. you know? And it doesn't matter what you can handle. It matters 
where God's leading you and what you want to be, yeah. what, what God's calling you to be. You know, the Bible says, guard your heart. Yeah. And this is actually David's, one of David's favorite scriptures. That's guard right. your heart for Proverbs out of 4, it flows the direction of your life. Yeah. So what it's saying is what you put into your heart will actually determine the way you go. So true. And the following verse says, don't swerve to the right or to the left. Well, if you don't want to swerve, then you're going to have to keep your eyes focused, your eyes yeah. straight ahead. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself off track and you're like, how did I get here? And if you backtrack, it's going to start with the things you put in your heart, yeah. the things you put in your spirit. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. And I think all of us have to be aware of the fact that it's not just an issue of what bothers you in the moment, but you're cultivating an appetite for that thing. So it's like, well, that doesn't bother me. Well, it is, it is shaping you. The more you feast on something, the more you, you're gaining, you, you say like, I have a high tolerance for that. Your, tire, your tolerance is getting even higher and it can be going in the total wrong direction. I think for a lot of us, we have to sit down and go, what is, not what did I do today? What did I do this week? But like, what is, what is the last month looked like for me? Because I think usually we're good at grading ourselves short term and bad at grading ourselves long term and actually seeing what is the trajectory that I'm on and where, if I continue to go this way, like what is life gonna look like for me? At the end of 2020, who am I gonna be? At the end of 2020, what are my strongest cravings gonna be? I think all of us do well to answer that question yeah. today. I think a great way to wear, raise your awareness on what you're putting in is just go on a little bit of a media fast and yeah. say, I'm not gonna put any media in and any anything aside from like conversation with others and the yeah. word of God and prayer for 10 days. You know, and if you do it for that amount of time, you'll find after you get off of that, that's a great time to evaluate, okay, what am I gonna put in? Because yeah. you're gonna, your awareness is gonna go up. There's habits that have existed in your life that you're like, oh, I didn't even realize I was doing that. Yeah. And after stepping back, I, I find that maybe, maybe this isn't the best thing for me. Maybe yeah. this isn't helping me grow my walk with Christ. Yeah. And so uh, that can be really healthy for you. But I think we- <laughs> As we brush away the candy bar <laughs> yes, crumbs yeah. in that front of us. That can be very healthy <laughs> for you. Uh, we wanna tell you the top five candy bars that exist on the planet right oh, now. Oh yeah, we're ranking them right Definitive here. Definitive ranking, here we go. Number one, Reese's! Woo! Oh, that was surprising to you, wasn't it? You didn't know that was coming. I did know, <laughs> because I didn't eat it, but I knew it was David's favorite. <laughs> Number two, because of the wafer, Kit Kat, has to hold that place. I honestly think David, if he could, if there could be two number ones, he would put these Put them together. together. Put them Bad. together. Number three is the crunch bar. Uh, it just has to be the crunch. That crisp rice inside, you think, you know, what's interesting about this ranking is these are both, they're not breakfast supplements, but my favorite meal of the day is breakfast and you have peanut butter at breakfast. And rice krispies. And if you have, you have rice krispies at breakfast, Think about that. I just blew your mind right now. Uh, number four is, uh, this is hard. Um, it's not hard, you don't even like this. It's not, It's the, definitely the Twix. The Twix, the the caramel inside You didn't even, call, you said it. this wasn't even a candy bar. Yeah. It, but interestingly enough, but because Hershey of on other people's rankings ranks number one. Yeah. According to eatthis.com, Hershey's is number one. Can we just go on a side note here? And this is very important, okay? <laughs> Listen. It's ranked number one, probably because eatthis.com goes in and looks at what people are actually buying, all right? And they're like, well, people buy a lot of Hershey's, but you bring up an interesting point for s'mores. Yeah, they're buying it, if and you buy large quantities it, when, you, right. when you go shopping for s'mores. We don't really eat a ton of candy bars, but we buy these because we eat s'mores. Do you have a fire in your backyard? We have like, uh, Yes. Hershey's can be number five. Okay, number five. <laughs> you heard it here, the definitive ranking. It goes like this. Reese's, Reese's Kit Kat, Crunch, Crunch Twix, Twix, Hershey's. Woo! You got it. We love you guys. Put good stuff in you, and good stuff will come out of you. That's right. Amen. See ya.